Star Wars fans, start your clocks. Episode 1, The Phantom Menace, opens in theaters across the galaxy in just two days. Earth time, that is. But the hype has been building for weeks. You refer to the prophecy of the one who will bring balance to the Force. You believe it's this boy? Tickets for the long-awaited prequel went on sale last Wednesday at the Lowe's Theater in Vestal. And the eager fans were there in full force. Some even camped out the night before with lightsabers in hand, waiting anxiously to be the first to get their tickets. Before that, Sunday, May 2nd at 12.01 a.m., Toys R Us in Johnson City opened its doors to be the very first to sell the new line of Star Wars toys. More than 100 fans and collectors waited in line for their chance to own a piece of the new movie. One of those diehard fans who definitely stood out the most was SUNY Binghamton student Chris Morbelli. He came to the toy store in full Darth Maul makeup. For those of you who are not up to light speed on the new Star Wars movie, Darth Maul is the bad guy. I'm a major Star Wars fanatic and I had to be here for opening night. A few days later, Chris, without his makeup, invited us over to his dorm room to check out his collection of, you guessed it, Star Wars stuff. Star, since episode one is coming out, you gotta have the shrine of episode one and all the figures. It's the movie poster, that's the teaser. And then all around the room you got figures, got the climactic Jedi battle scene, which is the, I guess everyone's looking forward to. Uh, of course, you got the big boy of Star Wars, Boba Fett. You can't have be a Star Wars fan without liking Boba Fett. Chris has everything a Jedi would want, from his unopened action figures to posters and games, soundtracks, and of course, his picture of the man himself, Star Wars creator George Lucas. I always wanted to be Luke Skywalker. Everyone, I know every kid wants to be Luke Skywalker. I mean, who wouldn't want to go off into the world, uh, fight, you know, the Empire? Learn a mystic religion. The Jedi strength flows from the Force. It's a little short for a stormtrooper. Huh? Oh, the uniform. You know, save a princess. I'm Luke Skywalker. I'm here to rescue you. The who? I'm here to rescue you. I've got your R2 unit. I'm here with Ben Kenobi. I have some really good best friends, I guess, so everybody wants to be Luke Skywalker. And like all true Star Wars fans, Chris knows most of the lines to the first three films. To prove this, he popped The Empire Strikes Back into his VCR, turned the volume down, and... You told me enough. He told me you killed him. No, I am your father. No. No. That's not true. That's impossible. Sure, as you can see, Chris loves the first three films. But how does he feel about the newest installment? Well, I think it's going to be the, one of the best ones ever. My forgotten. The bosses would do terrible things to me. Terrible things to me if me going back there. You hear that? Yeah. That is the sound of a thousand terrible things heading this way. I think you got to go into this movie without... You know, everyone's going into this movie expecting it to be the best movie ever, and if, of course it's going to let you down. Then you got to go into it and just, you know, George Lucas, I'm sure, is going to do a great job. So you got to go into it and just enjoy the story. I'm sure the story is incredible. So. John Donahue, Action News in a galaxy far, far away. Bye.